today is November 11th. It's about 8.15 in the morning. And yesterday it was 91. So let's see what it has killed off. And nothing's been eating any more of the butterfly weed. But I think she needs a little bit of water before I lose them. Oh, those look a little better. The wind was really bad. I came out and I used up all my little water jugs. Leeks are still hanging in there. They're looking a lot better since I've been flooding them a bit. so-called tree tomato. Now see, these are not tree tomatoes. After looking at petals on the pavers, they should be a decent sized tomato in kind of a teardrop or a pear shape. No, teardrop. Something's coming up. Don't know what that is. But since I put a support for the netting my lettuce is finally coming back or the birds aren't able to get to it to eat it no oh, I'm gonna have to definitely water they look fairly moist but I know another day like yesterday at 91 and 88 or 90 the day before I don't remember it's just too hot but need to make a note, do not plant marigolds anywhere around Swiss chard. Because once the marigolds started dying, the Swiss chard started growing. Oh, I haven't been shopping. I need more banana peelings. And there's the lavender. Oh, I forgot to see what the temperature... I'll check the temperature just before I go out, if I remember. I just know that sun is hot on my head. No mosquito larva. Nope, no wigglers. A few days ago, I dug up three clumps of beets. And of course it has to be a million degrees so it kills off everything. It looks like they're kind of making it. And there's my poor miserable little artichoke. Something's eating on it. Artichoke, no. It's a Brussels sprout. Something's eating on it. Coleus. Oh, it smells so good. the flowers cut off. There's that little old peach tree from seed. You would think it wouldn't be so big living in such a little bitty pot. I guess it just has enough room for the roots to spread out. Oh, a calendula. I'm going to have a little calendula. Let's see. There is the fig mulberry. Oh, I got some more seeds to pull. Yay! Oops, seed didn't come off. Okay. Monarch, 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 monarch. Nope, don't see the monarch. Caterpillar. Well, it was a good size. It may have moved on. But there was an itty-bitty one, and I think it died, because it's gone. Unless... Oh, there's the little bitty one. There's the little bitty one. And I don't like this camera. Okay, that's better. Thing is, you can't tell how itty bitty it is. That's an itty bitty one. Maybe the bigger one has moved off to make its cocoon. The top is dry. Oh, down a couple of inches. And here's all my beans that I'm drying out. Pretty bad looking beans. Don't think they're going to put... Oh, those are awful tiny. They're not going to put out a very good crop next year. Let's 
tomatoes. Okay, let's see. Don't look too ratty today. But you don't look too good either. Then I put beets down there and I forgot, so they're all dried up now. I forgot to water them. Another coleus. One of my marked down coleus. The other day, oxalis was coming up. Come out the next day and there's no sign of the oxalis. It's just getting ready to open up its pretty little leaves. Oh, that one was all dried up and shriveled yesterday, so... What are you, catnip? Yes, catnip. Yeah. It should not be turning yellow. And all scrapey looking. Well, what do you expect with this weird weather? Nice, cool nights. Finally getting down there pushing a hundred during the day. That's kind of rough on anything. Celery. Weed. Oh, you're going to be fun to clean out. Grass. Grass. Yeah. And all those different onions and stuff. How are we doing on the Brussels sprouts? Oh, we got a, some little nubbin coming up there. Oh, but it's opening up. And these just blew into stalks. And I don't know that they're going to have Brussels sprouts on them. But one thing, I don't have aphids on them. That's a rarity. Usually they're an aphid farm. Uh, volunteer bean. I got a half a dozen beans off of it. And the birthday tomato. Did the tomato survive? Yes, the one tomato has survived. I thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I like watching those numbers go up. Don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I like watching them go up. Bye for now.